Hi everyone, welcome to today's mini challenge. We are going to be doing the 12 minutes of movement and today's focus is going to be core and it's going to be a little bit of upper body. We are going to go into doing some press-ups variations today. So we are going to start on the mat. You're actually going to start in a child's pose today. So if you need to grab a cushion or anything that helps support with the knee, so I always say you can put a cushion kind of in between here or even just underneath if you need to double up your mat then do so. And we're just going to let the glutes go back, so that lower back go right the way back, have a little shift side to side and then just walk the hands down. And then just open up the knees wide as well. So I'm in a wide, wide leg child's pose. And then just come forwards and just let the head relax down. Let the arms relax. And we're just going to ground ourselves here and just do a few breaths. So we're just going to breathe in for the count of three. Hold for one. And exhale for three. And just relax the shoulders, relax the neck. And do that again for me. Inhale for three. Have a little pause. And exhale, relax the body. Take any tension away from the lower back. And then just come forward up onto hands and knees. Bring the knees in a little bit. And then spread the fingers, take the body weight through the whole of the hands and then relax the feet. We're gonna arch the back, let the chin go to chest, and then shine the chest forward, let the chin come up, create the arch for the lower back, so we can go upward cat, downward cat, and push into the ground, let the chin go to chest, and then come up, and we're going to take the child's pose with those two movements, so we're going to be going back to child's pose, we're going to come forwards, go to the upward position, to the downward position, tip chin to chest, and then go back. So we're going to create the breath work now. We're going to breathe in as we come up. Exhale as we close off the body, open up through the rib cage, and then push back into that child's pose. Let's do that one more time. Embrace this stretch. Come up. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, chin to chest, glide all the way back. Now take your right hand over to your left and get a little side stretch here. And then over to the other side and stretch. Fill that down into the hips, underneath the armpit, through the shoulders. And then come back up onto all fours for me. I'm going to create a... Little side twist, a thoracic twist. So we're just gonna let the hand come to the temple. So open up the side body, then take the arm just through, tuck under, and then come up again. We're just gonna go for four of these. Let's go three more from now. As we're doing before on the other side as well. So we're gonna open up that chest, just spread through. Take it under. And then let's go for the other side. So fingertips to temple. So we're going to open up. Bend this arm as you come under. And again. On this last one, inhale when you're in the upwards position. Exhale as we go under. Lovely work. Come back onto the knees. So you can either sit back here or sit up, whatever's more comfortable for you. And then we're just going to create some circles with those wrists. So the first exercise is going to be a plank on elbows. And again, I'll show you variations. I'm going to do my first plank on elbows on my knees. And then we can build up as we go through the three sets. So again, if you need some support underneath the elbows, so if you need to double your mat up, then do so. And I'm just going to create this timer. So there will be a few beeps. Okay, onto those elbows. Tuck the tailbone under, and I'm going to stay on the knees here. So if you find your bum's up quite high, walk the knees back. 
relax the feet. Have a little squeeze of the bum, so activating the glutes here. Neck is long and hold. Really focus on the breathing here. So again, that three deep breaths for three or even four. We've got 10 seconds to go. Pull the belly button up. Neck is long. And take it back to a child's pose. Take the arms the width of your mat. We're then going to glide forwards. Take it down to a press up. Hinge on those knees and come back up, okay? So we're going to be here. We're going to come forward. We're going to take it down to press. Big push up through the palms and take it back and keep that going. Child's pose to press up. Create that stretch, lengthen, power as you push up. If you're new to press-ups, this is a nice way to start your press-up journey. If it's too much with the backward forward, if there's any knee complaints, when we do these press-ups again, feel free to stand against the wall and do them against the wall. Rest there. Take it over onto your back for me. Now, day two, we've done a few ab crunches as we warmed up. We're going to do the same today. We're going to have a little ab crunch. You're going to let one leg go away as the arms go behind you. Come up and change leg and keep that going. Toe tap to leg lower. So we're lifting up the shoulders. Take that one leg away. Keeping your lower back connected to ground the whole time. Two more crunches for me. We're going to go straight over into the plank. Now I'm going to go for the second level of the plank. So up onto the toes. So come with me or stay onto the knees. We're going to hold. Again, squeeze your bum, tuck the tailbone under, nice flat back. Push back slightly with the heels, but do not lock the knees completely. Now, there may be a tendency for the bum to come up, keep it down. Eye gaze towards those hands. We've got six seconds. And take it to the knees, back to your child's pose. We're going to go for two press-ups with the same method. So come forward, two, one, two box press-ups. Take it back. Feel the stretch come forward. Keep the belly button pulled up so we're not completely collapsing through the stomach. We're staying strong in these box press-ups. And remember, there is the option to go against the wall. So you'll be standing and you're just pushing against the wall. Two. Take it back. We've got one more. And over onto your back. Taking the head down, have a little rock through the lower body. Lengthen the spine, bring the legs up. We're going to go for ab crunch. Hands go back, leg is going to come down. You can be straight with the leg or you can have the knees bent, depending on your level. So you can be here or straight up. As long as one's going away, as you open the body, close the body. Breathe it in as we open. Exhale as we come up. Slow and controlled. few more seconds, we're going to go into our last set. Roll back over onto your front. So our plank again. I'm going to go up onto hands to make it a little bit more challenging. Don't have to come up with me, but you can. So legs are going to be out. And my hands are spread, fingers are spread. Body weight through the other side of the knuckles. 
Now tip the body forward, have the feet together, squeeze those glutes. Now think about pulling the shoulders back as we lengthen the neck. If this is too much, drop down to the elbows. Or if you want to keep strengthening up the upper body, you can just drop those knees down. Keep the body in nice alignment. Everyone hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it back. Child's pose. Press ups again. Three press ups. Come back. All the way forward. Three. Tuck the elbows. Two. One. And back. So I've changed it this time. I'll show you from this way. Elbows are close. I'm going to take it down close and up. So I'm here. For one. Two. I'll sit on my knees. And then take it back to that child's pose. Come forward again for three. Push out of the ground with the whole of the hand. Work those arms, create strength. It is meant to be challenging. Okay, on to the back, third and final exercise. If you found that easy before, we're gonna go crunch, both legs go away, arms go away. Now remember, this little challenge is your level. If the lower back is causing too much grief here and you're getting any pains, go back to level one where one leg comes down. Those of you who are Pilates and yoga, got that strong core, built up over years, stay with me. 10 seconds to go. Last few reps. I'm gonna go single leg just to show you. And stop there, hug those knees in. And then have a little rock side to side. Walk the shoulders down away from the ears. This is a good little workout to do at the end of a maybe a session where you'll do some cardio or even a little weight circuit. Just to finish off those arms and abs or even just to get a little bit stronger with those three exercises. You can do this again and then progress as, uh, go, as we go through each stage. Okay, let the knees be bent 90 degrees, arms out, let the legs go all the way over to one side, get that stretch through the lower back and through this chest and this arm. So if the arm is raised up, just let it hang, open up for that chest stretch. Deep breath in. And exhale, lovely, let it go, come up, inhale at the top, exhale as the legs go over, you may get a little click and clunk in that back, and then relax the arm, take away any stiffness and tightness for your holding your lower back. Big breath in, and exhale. So place your feet to the ground, let the arms just come down to the side, and then just close the eyes for me. Take the chin away from the chest, and let the shoulders relax into the floor. Now breathe in for the count of four, through the nose, two, three, four. Hold for two, and then exhale for four, three, two, one. So we're just going to do that one more time. I won't count. Do it in your own time. Big inflation. Hold. And just let that breath go through the nose. Relax the body. Bring the knees into the chest. Just give yourself a big hug. And then in your own time, bring yourself up. Well done for that little upper body and core challenge today. Hope you enjoyed that. So the next session, we are actually going to do a little bit of a stretch, which would be quite nice. Um, so I look forward to seeing you um, on the mat on Friday. Any questions, any suggestions, what you'd like to see in these videos, do let me know. And don't forget to subscribe. Throughout January, I will be bringing three videos a week for you. Just 12 minutes of movement to help you feel good and energised and refreshed in your body. 
Have an amazing day. See you all soon.